Now, what is the meaning of uh, give me respite? That is, of course, it's a, this dialogue should not be taken literally because sometimes the Holy Quran speaks of the ancient events in the form of dialogues. But we know positively that there was no, no other person at, on the other hand to whom God was speaking. So dialogue is, a, is an expression, a form which indicates something else. For instance, about man, the Holy Quran says, I asked him, Alasto be rabbikum, rabbi rabbikum, kalu bala. All human beings said, yes, you are our Lord. Why there were no human beings? So, whenever such style is adopted of dialogue, when there is only God on one side and there is no one else on the other, it speaks of the future with reference to the past. And it means also that something is imprinted in the nature of that type of creatures. And when something goes in the blueprint, then the blueprint is always before. So this question is in the form of blueprint. You are an engineer, you know that, that you, when you plan something, you make a plan and a blueprint, and if a question is raised there, you raise the question, and you also answer it. Yet there is nothing no realization of that blueprint at all in the, in, in the real world. So, exactly in that style, the Holy Quran, being a most scientific book, it takes up certain issues and says, while man was not yet born, we spoke to him and we said, Alastove Rabbikum, Kalu Bala. So, this is in the blueprint of man. So, there also could be things in the blueprint of Satan which may have been referred to. Now this particular verse, would you read it? Anzirni ila yawmi yubasun. This whole dialogue could have been in, in the form of blueprint. Because man was not yet born, God was planning to create Adam. And when he did create, Ad before that he had a dialogue with angels. When he did create Adam, he asked them to follow and, and submit to him. There the Satan says, I will not, and he again refers to his birth. I am born out of fire. This was created later on, a small thing, it was made out of mud. So I am superior, fire is superior to mud, I should have bowed to him. So I believe personally that this was a something in blueprint which was uh, applicable to Satan's nature. Now God had already desi designed Satan to remain till the end of the time. Because if he had not designed it, how would he give option to man to follow this or follow that? So it was not accidental as people think. This is why I am insisting this, this dialogue has to be taken in the form of, understood in the form of a blueprint. Because otherwise we will say that God had not designed to put man to trial. He had designed man to be created like angels. But then came Satan and he upset the plans. And out of that ups upsetting of plan, great things emerged. Great prophets were born. This is something, some greatness you attribute to Satan instead. I don't take it as accidental at all. It is Christianity, what? Christianity which say that this is accidental. This, 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 yeah, huh? yeah. But we don't. The Holy Quran doesn't say that. The Holy Quran speaks of that as a preordained thing. So the dialogue in itself is not indicative of some decision making of the part of Allah at that time. The dialogue is indicative that as man was born, 
so was born his enemy. And it was so distinct that as long as man exists, this enemy would exist with him. This is the message I understand from this.